what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today i want to show you how to create a corporate slideshow animation inside hit film express now you might have seen this animation in my previous video if you don't want to create this animation from scratch then you can purchase this as a template the link will be given in the description but let's go ahead and create this slide in hit film express i'm using hit film pro but it will work on film express as well so let's create a new composite chart and call this image 01 i'm going to set the duration to 10 seconds and click on ok double click on it and now we'll just drag in our image inside this comp now i want to create a simple scale animation on this image but i'm not going to do that directly on this image instead i'm going to create a composite shot for that so i'm going to right click on it and click on make composite shot uh, let's call this image placeholder and I'm going to just select these two options and click on OK. Then we're going to exit out of this. In this image placeholder comp, you just want to replace your images. You don't have to do anything else here. Just replace your images in this comp, close out of this. And this one, image underscore zero one, this is where we'll create our scale animation. So I can just go to transform, create a keyframe on scale, go to the very end, set this to 120. And you can see we have this basic animation. All right, let's close out of this, create a new composite shot and call this slide 01. Set the duration to 10 seconds and click on OK. Let's bring in image placeholder inside this comp. Oh, not this one. We have to bring in image 01 inside this comp, which has the scale animation. All right, so let's create a new plane layer and um, call this shape. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to set the color to white or any other color, it doesn't matter. Let's expand this, go to transform and unlink the scale and set the scale to 20%. I have already done this before, so I know the values that I'm going to use. I'm going to move this to the very edge on the right side. And this should be 7, 6, 8 to be precise. And now we're going to go to effects and search for set matte effect. So we're going to apply the set matte effect on image underscore zero one composite shot, expand the set matte. Um, you have to set the source layer to shape. We have to set the blend to subtract. And we also have to click on the invert option. And make sure you hide the shape layer to see your image inside this shape. All right, cool. Now what we can do is we can just select these two layers, hit control D to duplicate it and i'm just going to select the shape tool and move it on the left side over here and in image one which is the second composite shot i'm going to go to effects set matte you can see the source layer is still set to the first shape we want to change it to the second shape and you'll see your image over here and just to be precise with the with the positioning of our shape we can just expand the transform and just make sure there is no black gap left over here or the transparent area left here so i'm going to use some round value over here so i'm going to set this to 385 that should look good and now we're going to repeat this again so Control d to duplicate it go to image and set the source layer to shape 3 and go to shape transform and change its position so let's just bring it right over here so i'm going to set this to one and um, make sure that there are no uh, creases or and uh, just make sure that it's seamless that's just it i'm going to drag in the shape layer at the very bottom and rename this to bg for background and apply fill color to it i'm just going to bookmark or you know favorite this effect because i use it every time so i'm going to Apply the fill color on this background layer and uh, change it to any color that I want. Let's use this one. Maybe you want to change it at a later point so we can do that easily. Then we want to animate this shape as well. But before that, you know what? Let's just animate the image itself. So all right, now I'm going to search for position. Type in position in the search field to reveal all the position values. I'm going to go to two second and create a keyframe on all of these shapes or uh, all of these layers except the background layer we don't want to mess with that so i'm going to 
create a keyframe um, make sure you create a keyframe for this as well all right and then we're going to move to the very first frame uh, let's select the top two layers which are at the very top um, I'm just going to position it over here select the next two layers position it over here and the next two layers and just position it over here all right so if you scrub through the timeline this is how it is going to look right and then i'm going to select all of these keyframes uh convert the keyframes to manual best here going to value graph and uh, you know convert the keyframes to i mean make the graph look like this i'm going to select these keyframes one by one and i need to make them make the graph look like this so select every keyframe and move the handle all the way to the left wish there was a method to do this quickly but you have to do this one by one so once you do that then it's going to look much smoother like that all right so i'm going to clear this field and go back to our background uh, plane layer and here we have the transform i'm going to unlink the scale here and change the anchor point to negative 960 this will move the anchor point to the left edge of the shape and i'm going to copy this anchor point value and paste it in the position which will bring it back in the center then i can keyframe the scale so set this to zero and go to two second and set this to 40 percent let's see if that is okay uh, we still have this black line in the middle so let's set this to 41 percent that should be good and again the same thing convert the keyframes to manual bezier hold the shift key and just drag the handle to the left all right so that'll look much much better now on this background layer what you can do is you can apply set mat effect on this and in the set mat we're going to set the source layer to image 01 and set the mat source to luminance so you can get this color out of it uh, i'm going to set this to subtract and invert it all right so then you can just mess around with the fill color if you don't want that color you can just change it to anything that you want i kind of like the blue color here so i'm going to keep it as it is all right it will look something like that and then you can also apply other effects like blur and you can just increase the value uh, then all you have to do is just add some text so for text let's create a new composite shot and i'm going to call this text title and for the width i'm going to go with 600 and for the height i'm going to go with 300 and click on ok now with the text tool you can just start i just set the height to 200 that should be good enough yeah let's just start typing our text so i'll just type in motion epic so you can go to text tab and change it to any font that you want and increase the size and go to layout and click on this icon that says align horizontal center and align vertical middle then on this text layer you can go to effects and apply uh, you can apply the or you can just apply the effect uh, inside the main comp so i'm going to drag this text title inside our slide one comp and i can just place this anywhere i want so i'm going to place it over here so just zoom into this and i can apply a gradient effect on this color gradient let me just favorite that effect as well apply it on this layer color gradient expand that and set this to opacity to 100 and set the blend to none and just position these points so like this and change it to any gradient color that you want so let's just try this one yeah that looks good so 
you can use any combination of gradients all right then we can create a new composite chart for our tagline so you can say text tagline and click on ok this should be again 600 by 300 or let's do 200 click on ok create a new text layer and type in anything that you want go to layout and align the text in the center go back to your main slide one comp drag in the text tagline I'm going to put it under uh, my text title layer position this properly and I can also scale it down or in the transform so let's just do that all right cool um, for this we don't want to apply any effect but you can do that if you want to on this comp itself and then I want to create a simple text animation out of it so I can drag in the shape layer put it at the top and I'm going to rename this to matte let's just decrease the opacity so that we can see what we are doing here and I'm also going to bring it somewhere over here in between these two text layers now I'm going to animate the position of text title and text tagline so let's just do that go to transform go to the very first frame or actually let's go to do let's go to two second uh, on both these layers create a keyframe on position and go to the very first frame move the presents text to the top and for the motion epic text I'm going to move it somewhere over here select these two layers convert the keyframes to manual bezier and create a graph like this select these two layers and these two keyframes my friend is inviting me to play a game of count strike but anyways uh, let's just convert the keyframes to manual bezier go to value graph and just create a graph like this and your animation will look something like that uh, but what we can do is again we have done this before set matte effect apply it on the text title set the source layer to matte and set the blend to subtract I'm going to hide the matte layer we don't want that anymore so yeah that looks good and then I'm going to copy the set matte effect paste it on the text tagline expand the set mat and just click on the invert option over here so we'll have an animation like this that is getting great so I'm going to now create a um, final text layer which oh not the text layer I can just select the text tool and create a text box like this and I can just type in anything that I want so all right so there we have our text and we can just animate this text coming into the slide as well so for that we need to let's just rename this always rename your layers um, let's rename this to paragraph text let's go to transform position let's go to two second let's bring this keyframe over here and on the very first frame let's move it away and let's select these two keyframes go to the keyframes to manual bezier go into value graph hold the shift key and just drag this handle to the left so we'll have something like this what else we can also animate its opacity so I'll set this to zero at the very first frame and after a few frames we can set this to 100 percent and i want these three um, i mean these four layers to appear after this slide completes so maybe somewhere over here so i can just move it like that or you can just mess around with the positioning and yeah, that is perfect and that's just about it that's what i did to create this slide and then i added some more motion graphic accents to it some light leaks and basically repeated this process for 10 different slides which took me like three days to do <laughs> but that's just about it guys i hope this video was helpful i hope you learned something new if you did then please make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one